In this lesson, we'll learn some additional methods for finding out information from your map. First, let's review those methods we've already learned. By clicking on a layer in the Table of Contents and then the Identify tool, we can click on features in that layer in our map to find out more about them. We can also use the Selection tool to select one or multiple features in a particular layer and then view these features and all their associated data in the attribute table. Both of these methods can give us information about a particular feature. But what if there's specific information that you'd like to find in the map from the data table? For instance, a particular town that you know the name of but you don't know where it is. We can use the attribute table to search for information in this way. Let's do a search for the town of Machias. First, right-click on the main towns layer in the Table of Contents and select Open Attribute Table. You can see at the bottom of the Attribute Table, there are options for searching. You can use these options to create the expression of what you're looking for. So in the first box where it says Search For, I'm going to type in Machias. Next, in the pull-down menu, I need to choose which field I'm searching within. And in this case, it's the town name. In the next drop-down menu, I'm going to change it from Select to Select and Bring to Top, so that I don't have to go searching through the table to find the selected feature. When I click the Search button, I can view the records for the various polygons that comprise the town of Machias and see all the data in the table that's associated with them. The search will bring up any town name that has the name Machias in it. So it's also showing records for the towns of Machias Port and East Machias. Notice that there are multiple records for each town. This is because there are records for each polygon, and often a town will contain more than one polygon because of islands and lakes and any other features that break up the continuity of the land area of a town. Because these towns are highlighted in the attribute table, they are also now highlighted in the map. So if I close the table, I can now see where in the state these towns are located. QGIS also allows us to perform more complicated advanced searches. For example, from the colleges layer, I might want to find not just a particular college, but all of the colleges that have a student body population over a certain size. To do this, once again, I need to open up the attribute table, but this time, in the search options at the bottom of the table, I want to click on the Advanced button. This will open up the Query Builder. In the box at the bottom, I essentially want to build an equation that describes what I'm looking for. First, I need to choose the fields in which I want to search. I'm looking for school population, and if I scroll down through the fields, I can see there's an attribute of enrollment. If I double-click on Enroll, it will appear in the query box. Then I click on the greater sign under the operators to enter that into the box, and I'll type in 1000. So my expression reads, Enrollment is greater than 1000. This will find all of the colleges that have an enrollment of over a thousand and select them in both the attribute table and in the map. When I click OK, the search is processed and it tells me there are 17 colleges that match these criteria. And I can see which ones they are in the attribute table and see where they are in the map. I can add other attributes to my expression to further refine my search. For instance, all of the colleges that have an enrollment of over a thousand and are also located in Cumberland County. I'll open up the attribute table and click on the Advanced button to get back into the Query Builder dialog box. Once again, I want to write an equation that specifies my search criteria, and I'll start it with the same expression I used last time. So enroll is greater than 1000. Now I need to add in the second half of the equation, specifying what county I'm looking for. First I'll click the AND button, and then find the attribute of county in the list of all the different fields in the layer. 
and double-click County to enter it into the box. Under Operators, click the Equals button, and I can either type in Cumberland directly into the expression, or when I have County highlighted in the list of fields, I can click the All button under the Values box, and this will show me all the different values that are in this County field. Then I can double-click Cumberland to enter it into my equation. By actually viewing the values that are in the County field, I can make sure I spell it correctly and make sure the correct letters are capitalized or not, since that will make a difference in my search. Also note that any value of text that's in the expression is in quotation marks, while numbers are not. Now my expression reads, Enrollment is greater than 1000 and County equals Cumberland. When I click the OK button, I find that there are four colleges that meet these criteria. Just like with my other searches, the colleges will be highlighted in the attribute table so I can see which ones they are, and then I can close the table and see where these colleges are located in the map.